Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 2nd of 2021 well, it is titled Clouds of the Carina Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a, a part of what we call the Carina Nebula, a large star forming region. And looking here from an image taken about five years ago in Australia. And when we look at it, we see a number of things associated with star formation, including dark knots of dust, which are what hide the newly forming stars, what we call protostars. And those protostars are embedded within these small knots of dust and that is where they are currently forming and we also see a lot of the gas surrounding it illuminated here primarily we see hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is colored in the green here so it is color coded even though hydrogen gas emits primarily red light it has been color coded into green in this false color image and that also allows us to see a couple of other things and we look at sulfur in the red and oxygen in the blue now while this may make it seem like there is a lot of sulfur and oxygen here that's really not correct the vast majority of the nebula is hydrogen gas however it may be at the right temperatures and right energy energies to be able to excite the sulfur and oxygen so we can see their emission as well and that allows us to better track and follow what is happening in the nebula now the brightest star within this nebula known as Eta Carinae is an unusual star in that it really varies in brightness very significantly. In fact, it became for a while the second brightest star in the sky back in the 1830s, and then decades later faded to below naked eye visibility. And it has since increased again in brightness and is continually changing. And it is one of those stars that is quite unstick unstable and emitting puffs of gas and from its surface and is likely to be a type of star that will go supernova sometime in the near future. Now the near future doesn't mean next week, next month or even next year, although that's certainly a possibility. But it could within the next few hundred years or even a thousand years become a supernova. The key is that we don't really know what's happening exactly inside the star. Once the interior of a star reaches a certain point, it will go supernova very quickly. However, we cannot look within the star and see how close it is to that and whether it's right there and going to happen in the next year, or if it's going to be something that will not occur until uh, for a thousand years. Either one of those would be equally likely. So we still see here within the nebula some of the very newly formed stars including Eta Carinae within the Carina nebula today. So that was our picture of the day for May the 2nd of 2021. It was titled Clouds of the Carina Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be all humans but one. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.